In this video, I will show you how to make this very simple and realistic looking water material inside a blender. So if you are new to the channel, my name is Kion and they were making one more blender tutorial. So guys, if you don't know how to install blender or you don't know how to install it, basically you can check out my tutorial on how to download blender. So this is a pretty basic material. And and it works for EV and cycles very well. So I'll be showing you an EV and then also showing you in cycles. First things first, let's delete the default cube because we need to replace it with a plane because, well, let's see, it's kind of like a plane. So just scale it up and there you go. Now I can uh, go to the shading tab, but uh, let's just do it this way. So we're going to click right here and we're going to change it to the shader editor. Let's create a new material. And let's name it something like water. If I can uh, type it right there. So there we go. So here we have our basic shader node. So we have principal PSDF. Um, so also I'll be no using the node regular. So if you don't have that enabled, go to edit prefer preferences. It's right here, add-ons. So if you're another tab, just click right here on add-ons and search up node rangular you can just search node you should give that just check mark that if it's probably it's not by default enable and by the way also quick tip uh, save your preferences right here or you can click on the auto save just uh, close that and now we'll work with our BSDF so first things first put this oh by the way click Z and click on material preview or just uh, click right here so you can see the material um, you could set this to light blue, but I think since if you have an HDRI, it's probably better to, uh, make sure that it reflects because in real life, water is basically, since the atmosphere is kind of blue, it basically reflects. So that's why, that's why the C is like that. So you can make this roughness, uh, after you put the color right here or hex value of zero, uh, you could uh, put the roughness down to zero and you can see that's reflecting. So if you have an HDRI, it reflects. Like uh, by default, I think Blender has also uh, some different HDRIs right here for the material preview and you can see that's reflecting our HDRI and that's realistic. Uh, you could change some more settings because it's kind of good to leave like that and also now we're going to uh, search for uh, two main nodes, the noise texture, so just uh, get that, and we're going to plug it in right here, because now we're going to add, you can just leave it like this, Look, this looks awesome sometimes for like some basic rivers, also you could uh, put this transmission to one, instead of doing all the texturing, but I, I like to keep it this way, but whatever, continuing right here, uh, this noise texture, um, we're going to add now the ripples, so control shift click that, and that's using the node regular, so you can see this just adds some noise, so if we control shift click back on our principal PSDF, uh, which add this to the, uh, normal value right here. You can see this is not working very well, that's because uh, we need to convert, this is just a black and white data, this is not actually normal data, so what we need to do is search up a bump. And there we go. Plug this in to the height. And that's uh, because of the height value. So if you want to decrease the strength, uh, the strength I will recommend a value of 0 0.02 or something like that. You cannot see it very much. First things first, let's change here some settings. Uh, you could set this like to 200. But that really depends. You can see that's already good, but... It's not very realistic, that's because we need to turn the detail way up. So now you can see, so if we go to render view and actually put a, another color, there you go, using a white, a little bit blue, you can see that's reflecting, so there you go. So after, uh, that's by the way, that's just of the lamp, so you can press X to delete it, and there you go, this is a really basic... Um, you could really see from here, it really looks realistic. 
So this is our material setup, and you're like, hey, I want to animate these values. Well, you could do from the scale, but that's not very realistic. Typically, you kind of like move, so you can press Control T using the node regular. So just a Control T, and this will apply the mapping node. You could manual type in this, um, but uh, yeah, with node regular, do it much quicker. Here is the Z value, uh, I don't know, basically you can edit the X and Y. So um, let me just show how to animate this. So like here, you could like set the, press I, so it inserts a keyframe. Point 0.1, I don't know, it does not. It's, you could also throw in the uh, these values right here. So right here on this value, let's actually reset it to 0.1. Basically, these values can be all the same, and that's just very realistic. Figure right here, you can see the water is actually moving. That's pretty realistic. Now, I think something is kind of off. So if we're going to the... I... This... No, I think we need a linear haze mode. Wait, keyframe. I don't know, just play around with this. Linear, there we go. I don't know. There we go, that's working. I don't know, so basically it's kind of like that. But there we go, that that just animates. So now we can uh, uh, not animate this. I don't know how to set it. So basically that's it for animation. Show you how it looks uh, with uh, uh, cycles. So let's uh, click on cycles. By the way, uh, if you're having trouble like with your computer or stuff, you can send, you can set the max samples like to 10 if it's just a quick test or like a small um, uh, render that you want to do. By the way, this is just like a, some sample. This. These are samples, these are not the resolution, so you like to change resolution. Currently having the standard uh, one, uh, 192 by 1080, so that's just what I use. But you could throw, make sure to turn on denoise, you can see that also really looks realistic. So this is just a very nice and simple way of creating this material inside a blender, and it's totally procedural. Look at the uh, transparency. There we go. Let's uh, put the camera right here. So, yep, yeah, that's basically it. How to do this very, very simple ocean material inside a blender. One thing I like to say if you like to download this uh, scene or a few others, you can do check out my Patreon. I do have one. Um, I do not have Discord, by the way, a lot of people are probably interested in Discord access. No, I do not have a Discord. Uh, I could create one. I actually have a few accounts, so I'm probably going to create one for you guys. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll probably create a Discord server. Um, also, if you have a texture, you just plug it in right here. But, uh, yeah. This is totally procedural, guys. So, if you do like to uh, use this method, I'll do recommend. It's very useful. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, also, uh, please uh, do give you guys a tip. If you did like this video and want to see more, please subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to get notified when a new video comes out. But uh, you need to turn on notifications for that. So just uh, turn on the bell so you are the first to be notified when one of my new videos comes out. So that's it. Basically, how to make this very realistic ocean water material so uh yeah try it out in your scene and i certainly use this in a lot of scenes and it looked amazing so if you want to check that out um just uh try it and it's uh it's ridiculously simple but it gives you amazing results and especially it's uh black material so it does reflect so that's it uh thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next video